I've had uh, some questions about my bed system. Um, I am unabashedly showing you right now my uh, unmade bed. Um, but uh, sometimes it's easiest to just show on video instead of trying to explain everything. So I'm going to um, show you what my bed system consists of. Um, and we'll do it piece by piece in a quick, quick video. Uh, trying to get the lighting right here. Um, and everything that I talk about, all the actual products, if I mention or show you a product, I'll include a link for that in the uh, description of the video. So this is uh, what it looks like with everything, all my entire bed system pulled out. Um, this is a base layer of nothing more than gym mats. So that's just that closed foam um, little squares that you would find uh, it separates like that and goes together in these, uh, I think they're, I don't know, 18 inch squares. Um, so I have them over the whole bottom. Um, just provides a nice thing. You're on your knees a lot. First of all, it provides a nice layer of uh, insulation at the, at the base. And I don't like those ridges. Um, they can be pretty hard on the knees. Um, and just, it's not a very nice uh, kind of base. So this was the very first thing I did was put these gym mats in. I just roughly cut them around the wheel wells. You can see my bedding system ends up with leaving me two small areas of storage right between the wheel wells like and the edge of the truck bed. My bed ends even with this. And uh, so there's this space right here, and also a similar space right here. I have that storage as well, because my bed comes down kind of even with the edge of this, so I, it leaves me a little uh, void there that I can use for storage. All right, so this is gonna take just a minute to explain. What I found when I first started um, having sleeping in the back was because of my system involves a couple of different components involving mats and inflatable mats and a, and a mattress, um, it would slide around. So when I would wake up, uh, the bed would be, you know, bedding parts of it would be all over here and I'd have to kind of push everything back. Um, so I built this, um, it's really cheesy and it's literally just built out of fence panels um, and it kind of evolved a little bit over time because I didn't get the first cut right. Um, but it pushes up against the wheel well right there snugly. Um, so that's snug there. Um, and this rails piece on the side um, keeps everything right where I want it in my bedding. It keeps everything, it keeps this center area kind of clear for moving around in. Um, and it's just a nice uh, system to make sure that everything stays in place, stays neat in my in my bedding. Um, and then of course my body weight when I'm sleeping on this, um, make sure that this doesn't this doesn't go anywhere, this side rail. So this is just screwed and, and glued together um, with basically scrap scrap pieces. So on top of the ridge rests, um, I do have two of them just because I had two of them left over from my camping days, my tent camping days, so I go ahead and throw those in here. Softens out and evens out those um, the little lumps that otherwise might be there from the cross cross pieces of the little frame I have. This is a air mattress. Didn't think I needed this, um, but I'm old and my hips hurt um, if I don't have enough cushioning. So this actually really makes a difference. I think it probably also makes a difference for insulation, just because it's a, um, a air uh, layer of air mattress. So simple, just blow up right there. I check it usually before a trip and make sure it's fully inflated. Sometimes it will lose air a little bit, uh, but not too badly. It's super comfortable. This is my four inch tri-fold um, main mattress. I thought when I first got this that I would use it um, like to sit up and provide some stability um, when I was just sitting here reading or working um, on the computer or what, doing whatever. Um, but I pretty much leave this flat. It does fold. Um, so it does fold up like that. 
three sections. Like I said, I usually leave it um, just out all the way extended. But it would be super simple. It's that easy to flip it up and down um, and get it into a trifold position. And it just tucks in nicely. Um, it's exact length, six foot on my bed. It comes in um, snug right against the wheel well right there. And again, leaves me little storage spaces on either side. Now I also have uh, this um, blow up air pillow. Uh, I have a regular bed pillow that I do use uh, just for camping, but I use this underneath. It's super flexible and it just kind of levels things out. Um, I tend to like two pillows, um, but I didn't necessarily want to have two bed pillows, two home pillows uh, in my camping setup. So I throw this under my regular pillow and um, it does wonders. Uh, I really, I didn't know if I would like this, but I, I actually really do. Um, so something to think about, you might wanna, these are relatively inexpensive to pick up. Um, and this is the brand that I got, but um, yeah, I'll have a link to it. So that's it. Uh, quick and simple little video about my, my bedding uh, system. Um, from this point, you know, I just go with, I go with a, a sheet um, and then uh, layer on to uh, whatever kinds of extra additional um, sleeping bags or blankets or whatever other things I might need depending on the, the temperature, um, what it's going to be when I'm out camping. So I can, from here, I can layer way on. I can have multiple, um, of course, multiple sleeping bags, multiple blankets. Um, I have never had, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've never had a problem being uh, cold in my sleeping bag, in my sleeping system um, with the blankets or my foot booties or other things I use that I've talked about in other videos. Um, but in the summer, like it is now, um, put a uh, fitted sheet over this so uh, it stays nice and then, you know, like one, one top layer um, and that's not really even needed but it just kind of feels nice. Um, one thing you will notice, of course, about my system, which is different from a lot of folks' systems, is it's super simple and it's not a platform build. Most uh, builds that I've seen, people tend to like the platforms because it allows you all the storage underneath. So you build a platform, you lay your bedding on top of it, and underneath your bedding you have uh, a huge amount of storage space. My trips right now are only um, a few days. At most, um, the way I'm, I'm doing it now, that may get longer in the future and things might change. But right now, I don't need that storage space so much. I do have all of this over here. I also have the extended cab for storage. So I'm really not, I'm not hurting for storage. Um, so I didn't need that. And also, I truly like being able to sit up in the back. Um, I don't like, I don't think I would enjoy climbing into a bed and being kind of scrunched or even maybe, you know, not even being able to turn over comfortably uh, if it gets if the storage gets too high. I did think about a super low storage, but then it's underneath my uh, sleeping to make like a platform. But it just hasn't been worthwhile for me to do it uh, at this point. Um, I really right now with this, if I sit on this, um, my head is kind of bumping up against uh, the ceiling here. Um, in fact, it's my caps that I wear at, night, at the winter time to keep my head warm um, have gotten a little pulled from the uh, fiberglass. They've gotten little pulls in them and I've had to trim them down. So I might have to work something out with that in the future. Uh, right now, of course, it's not, not an issue because it's warm weather. Um, but if I lost any height, I'd be squashed um, when I try to do normal things in the bag. So for right now, this works for me. Um, you don't have to do a platform build, is a, is a short of it. Um, I, I thought when I started that that was kind of mandatory or was somehow absolutely necessary because I kind of saw everybody else doing that. Um, but when I thought about my circumstances, I realized it wasn't something I needed. And when I actually got out and tried things out um, prior to committing to something, I really realized that it wasn't something I needed, at least not right now. Things may change in the future um, as things evolve, but for now, this is perfect. I am so comfortable sleeping out here. Um, as comfortable as I am in my bed, uh, really. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe.